एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Are you familiar with the process of manufacturing the buckets which are used for household applications? If not, watch the video to have a clarity. Welcome to S Chand Academy and I am Anmol Bhatia. In this part of the video we'll be learning about the plastic molding techniques and this Uh, topic is a part of the course manufacturing practices for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below this is the first part of the video wherein we will be learning about the plastic molding uh, techniques or technologies before coming to the basic technologies which are used to uh, manufacture different components related to plastics let's first understand what are the different varieties of plastics the first variety or the first type of plastic that we will be learning in this case is thermosets thermosets are kind are a kind of plastics that are molded once and cannot be softened again by heating that means if you have prepared a particular plastic and then if you are heating that particular plastic to uh for certain other uh, applications or needs you cannot do that so it is molded once it cannot be softened again by heating and these kind of plastics which are thermosets are generally durable they are harder they are tough and the weight is generally light and they are typically used for automobile parts or the construction materials the next category is elastomers elastomers are basically the polymer that have elastic properties or the flexibility and uh, generally they have the rubber like properties and they are those thermosets which have the rubber like properties the typical uses of this elastomer can be in case of medical mask or the gloves or you can say the rubber substitutes then the third category of this plastic is the thermoplastic in which they can be easily bent and deformed after heating so you can heat these kind of uh, plastics and you can uh, change or deform it into a new category or a new uh, version then the general properties of these kind of thermoplastics are it has low melting point and they are generally softer and they are also flexible they are used in in case of bottles or the food wrappers or you can say the toys so you have these three categories namely thermoplastics elastomers and the thermosets plastics now we have the plastic processing technology or the plastic molding techniques in which the first technique that we will be learning is extrusion we have these techniques and we will be learning these techniques in this video the names of these techniques are extrusion blow molding thermoforming or injection molding technology so firstly we will learn about the extrusion process in case of extrusion if i elaborate upon the basic extrusion process that is related to the forming technique in the extrusion process what happens the heated material comes in contact with the die and we generally pushes that heated material and make it flow from that orifice so that a particular shape is created so here also the concept is similar which is of extrusion but in case of plastics we have the plastic granules which would be heated up and that heated plastic would come in contact with the orifice and ultimately certain products would be released from the surface if we look at the diagram of the extrusion process here we have a hopper from where we um, insert the plastic granules and those plastic granules will be inserted inside this barrel wherein it moves or rotate continuously so that this uh, plastic granules can come or move away ahead so this one is the feeding zone 
and the plastic granules will come in the second zone which is the melting zone. In the melting zone you have the thermocouples involved. The thermocouple is primarily used to heat that plastic granules and once these plastic granules are heated up what happens uh, the molten material or the melted pool is being created. Then this, uh, this screw is capable of moving in the, the particular liquid ahead and you have a melt pumping zone which is the third zone and this zone is there in contact with this uh, orifice which is already there. So when it comes in contact with this die and that die has a particular opening, when the plastic material comes from that particular opening, it leads to the formation of that plastic object. Maybe a cylindrical object is required or a square object is required. So for that, we can use this extrusion technology. Here you have a plastic breaker uh, plate in which can be used to break the particular object length which is particularly required. Here also we have a filter screen so as to avoid any other contamination or any other foreign material entry inside this and also we have a thermocouple which is also used to melt the material which is coming in contact with the dye. So this is the basic process behind the extrusion. The video that you are seeing on the screen is of the plastic granules which are being fed in the later stage inside the barrel so that the melting would take place. So the video demonstrates the plastic granules which are to be used in this extrusion process. The second video demonstrate the procedure of feeding in the plastic granules inside the hopper and that hopper is responsible to feed in that plastic granules inside that barrel. So with the help of the barrel, the, the plastic granules travels and ultimately it gets melted inside that uh, barrel and what happens when it comes in contact with the dye and there is a plunger with the help of that plunger when it uh, moves out from that dye, it leads to the formation of the plastic based component. The, the video that you are see, seeing on the screen is the final outcome that is of the plastic component which is there from the orifice which is uh, coming because of that extrusion process. So, so far what we have learned, we have learned about the extrusion process. Now in the next category we have the blow molding process. Now we will be learning about the blow molding process. As you can see in the diagram that we have a set procedure for the blow molding. In this what happens the first step is that we have a three piece mold and we have a heated glass here. So we have a three piece mold and in between that we have a heated glass which is placed in between the, the plunger. Now in the next step these three molds are put together. So these three molds are put together and the plunger remains in between the gap. Now what happens a cavity is created inside uh, inside this region a cavity is created now in the next uh, particular step the plunger and the hot air is pushed inside the glass so the heated glass is there and the air is pushed inside that heated glass so that it uh, the heated glass uh, would cover the surface of that cavity now in the next part the heated glass has covered the entire cavity surface and when it gets solidifies the mold opens so this mold opens and this uh, particular component is released from the surface that means this bottle is removed from the surface so ultimately what happens in case of the blow molding the hot air is being blown inside the hot glass so that what happens the final outcome is being produced in this particular situation you have noticed that uh, we can produce the plastic components by heating the, the variety of the glass and uh, because of the flowing of air inside that we can get the final outcome or the final product. 
so in case of the bottles that you would be seeing in case of your household usage or household applications these bottles are majorly manufactured with the help of the blow molding processes so so far we have learned about the extrusion process and the blow molding process so in case of extrusion process you have learned that there is a plastic metal pool that is released from the orifice and it leads to the creation of the the components which are the plastic components maybe the channels or the pipes which are used for the household applications they are created with the help of this extrusion process and the bottles or the plastic glass that you can use for the uh, household usage that can be produced with the help of the blow molding process with this we come to the end of the first part of the video wherein we learnt about the basic details of plastics the categories of plastics and the two techniques of plastic processing namely the blow molding and the extrusion process in the next part of the video we will cover up the other two plastic processing techniques for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below if you find the video interesting like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates thank you all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder